Hi, good afternoon. I'm Christine Stapleton. I'm a staff writer with the Palm Beach Post, and I'm here on Southern Boulevard, which is the presidential motorcade. We believe uh, Air Force One has just landed, um, and we want to give you a view of what the motorcade looks like and what it's like along the, uh, the route. Um, we have uh, some folks here today, some Trump supporters, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit, uh, interview, talk to them a little bit about why they're here. And uh, let, me, uh, let me get one of them over here. Come on. All right. Uh, can you tell me who you are and why you're here today? Um, my name is Zalmi. We are um, here with a group of Bahram Yanga students from uh, the Lubavitch Chabad community, and we're here to show our appreciation to uh, President Trump in um, really, really hel um, helping us out and in general the entire Jewish world by um, releasing uh, Shalom Ardachai Rabashkin for. Um, uh, things that he was accused for that was totally unjust and unfortunately they took away eight years from from his life and from his family and from all of us and we're just so happy we're thanking God and so we want to show our appreciation from Trump for being uh, being his uh, shliach, being his um, his emissary to help fulfill that and uh, yeah we just want to say thank you very much to the president all right can you give me an idea of how many uh, of y'all are here where you came from how you got up here so um, we have our school in uh, our Masifta in Coral Springs, Florida, um, and uh, we came up here to help. Uh, to, I'm saying every Friday afternoon the boys go out, and we we had different offices and businesses we go to, and we put on tefillin, and we give out uh, the Shabbat, can Shabbat candles to the to women and girls, and we're here doing the same thing. And while we're at it, we're going to help join and show our appreciation to President Trump. Great. Do you guys have some signs, or what, what are we what are we going to be doing while uh, when he comes by? You got some signs down there? So, yeah, I think they're they're arranging here some signs and Perfect. Uh, different people in the community and uh, yeah to help uh, show our appreciation. Can you talk a little bit more about the uh, the gentleman who was um, his sentence was commuted on Wednesday and um, you know what that means to the community and then also we this month uh, we had uh, Jerusalem. Uh, the situation with uh, what president did in terms of Jerusalem and the capital. Can you tell me a little bit about that and how much that means to the community? So um, mainly the things that we we're really um, I'm not a politician or anything, but what, what I do know and personally know the um, the Rabashkin family. And if you look anywhere online, you'll see what was going on. That the entire Jewish world just erupted in uh, joyous happiness, and everybody was touched by by um, Rabbi Shalom Mordechai Rabashkin, and that. Um, yeah, it just it means, it means the world to all of us, and the non nonstop joyous dancing and celebrating, and yeah. All right, thanks very much. Uh, it looks like uh, we're beginning with the motorcade. It's coming uh, appears to be coming over um, the I ninety five overpass right now. We uh, let's step aside here. The um, the officers are directing us right now to get off the sidewalk, which they uh, normally do. We probably have a couple of dozen uh, supporters at this uh, part of the route. We usually have some other supporters or protesters up by Publix. Um, and uh, we are waiting now. This is the ninth visit that the president has made since he was elected president. He made two other visits uh, as president-elect over the holidays last year, but this will be his first Christmas at Mar-a-Lago as president of the United States. He was here a couple weeks ago, uh, Thanksgiving, where he played some golf, and uh, we're expecting he'll be playing some more golf during his visit right now. Um, we don't know when. It's a beautiful day here in Palm Beach County. It's 80 degrees, and it's uh, beautiful golfing weather. The golf course is about a mile from the airport so there have been people wondering if perhaps he might just go right from Air Force One over to the golf course instead of Mar-a-Lago um, but uh, we are waiting they have already closed the roads down and usually the motorcade comes quite quickly down Southern Boulevard if you are just tuning in we are along Southern Boulevard, the motorcade route, and we have a lot of Jewish students here from a Coral Springs school who are here to support President Trump. And let me see, can I get any of you guys? Would you like to talk a little bit about your visit to come up here today to uh, support the president? Why are you here? 
Um, we're here because um, recently a, um, a member of our community, um, Rabbi Shalom Mordechai Bashkin, was um, released from prison by uh, President Trump for uh, charges that um, were overblown and um, overestimated. He was supposed to se serve a 27-year sentence, and President Trump, um, he lowered it, so he served eight years. Um, so he's home now, and so we're here to show our support with signs. You can see there's signs of um, to thank the president. All right. Very good. Thank you very much. How many do you figure you uh, students that um, have come up here? It looks to be a couple dozen. Um, yeah, it's around, it's around a dozen, a dozen of us, and some more members of the Jewish community are here um, besides for the, um, yeah, more other members of the Jewish community from uh, South Florida are here. Can you give us your name and where you're from, please? Um, my name is Uziel Shiner, and I'm from Palm Beach, Palm Beach Island. Great, thanks very much. Uh, we are starting to see more vehicles heading down Southern Boulevard. Um, so we're expecting any moment the presidential motorcade to be passing by. Earlier today, we saw the Trump private helicopter land at the new helipad over at Mar-a-Lago. That was about 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, we don't know who got off the helicopter, but we did see it land at the new helipad behind Mar-a-Lago. Um, the president himself has not yet used the helipad. There were um, thoughts that when he, when they built the helipad that President Trump might be using it and it would avoid the, uh, the closure of the roads here whenever he comes into town. Um, but to date, he has not used it. Although every time he does come, they do bring in what's called Marine One, which is the presidential helicopter. So we have seen that um, being brought down and on the tar tarmac of Palm Beach International Airport. Um, but like I said, he hasn't used it yet. We had two other visits last year before uh, the inauguration. The Trump family does spend its holidays at Mar-a-Lago, so this is, uh, this is a tradition in the family. So they were here last year for Thanksgiving and Christmas. They were here for quite a bit longer last year, though. Um, as president-elect, he had a little bit more free time. And he spent about, uh, let's see, I think he came in on December 16th and left right after the new year. We are expecting him to leave uh, January 1st. We are, um, we time, or we know when the president is going to be coming in and out, or we, we get an idea by looking at the uh, FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration puts out some alerts to pilots. And right now, the alert that we, um, we're under expires on January 1st, so we're expecting the president to perhaps leave uh, no later than January 1st. However, that can always change. Um, let's see, we've got some action, it looks like, coming, uh, coming down. The roadways have been cleared both ways. Traffic has been stopped. Um, and uh, the law enforcement, the local law enforcement and the Secret Service, which are responsible for closing down the roads, are really uh, have mastered this after so many visits, and it seems to be that it, they are not uh, having to close the roads for as long as they were uh, during the first visits. So the roads, uh, they close them at the last minute and then open them up right away to avoid, uh, you know, long traffic jams, which we had during some of the visits last year. Um, of course, this is the holiday weekend, so. We aren't seeing many uh, protesters or supporters along the route, as many as we normally see. Um, it's hard to tell if that is a uh, motorcade f fatigue situation, if, if the protesters and supporters are, um, have been doing this so much that they will no longer be showing up as much, or if it's a situation where uh, they're going to wait for some of the other uh, opportunities I'm sure they'll have over the next uh, 10 days or so to um, to line the uh, the routes and protests. So uh, I can't really give you an explanation on why we're not seeing as many uh, protesters and supporters, but uh, definitely much fewer than we used to see uh, last year. Now, we just had a uh, helicopter flyover. It was not Marine One. Um, it looked, though, like it was uh, perhaps the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. All right, we've got some more vehicles coming down Southern Boulevard right now and they're moving slowly. The presidential motorcade has uh, several different types of vehicles. Of course, we've got many uh, you know, paramedics uh, vehicles that uh, follow the president around. 
Um, there are also three black SUVs. They're all identical. And we never know which one the president is in. However, last time he was down here, the president did uh, wave to the crowd, and we were able to see him through the window of the, um, the vehicle. Now, we just saw the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office SWAT team go by. We now have one of the uh, black SUVs moving uh, slowly by with its lights on. We're not seeing any other vehicles right now, though, or uh, the motorcycles. We, there's usually a, quite, a, quite a group of motorcycles that precede the, uh, the actual motorcade when it comes by. Now, we don't know how many of the Trump family are, are, uh, are here now. All right, I'm Christine Stapleton. If you're joining us now, I'm a uh, staff writer at the Palm Beach Post. I'm here with uh, videographer Thomas Cordy along the presidential uh, motorcade route on Southern Boulevard in West Palm Beach. We are joined today by a group of Jewish students from a school in Coral Gables, Florida. They are here uh, to show their support of President Trump who commuted the sentence recently, uh, I believe it was Wednesday, of a member of the uh, Orthodox Jewish community, um, and he had served almost nine years in prison. The president commuted his sentence, and they're here to show their support for the, uh, the commutation of that sentence. Um, they are probably the largest group of supporters that we have right now in the, uh, in the area. We don't have... Uh, the usual number of protesters and supporters that we've seen before along the motorcade. Uh, we do have some reporters up by Publix, uh, about a quarter mile east of here, and I know there are some uh, supporters and protesters up there. Okay, I'm being told that it's just supporters up by Publix, so it looks like this, uh, this time around it's mostly supporters along the motorcade, whereas in the past it's been uh, there's been a lot of uh, protesters around. So we've seen a couple, but, but not too many. And uh, let's uh, take a look real quick at the motorcade route. We are not seeing anything yet. We, we have had a couple of uh, motorcycles and vehicles go by, but the actual motorcade we're still waiting for. Now, we don't know exactly which members of the Trump family are going to be, be here for the holidays. Um, we do know that Donald Jr. is in town. He spoke earlier this week at the uh, Turning Point USA Summit in West Palm Beach, which is a, a, a conservative students organization. And he's also popped into a couple of local co uh, CrossFit gyms. Uh, he's an avid CrossFitter, so we know that Donald Jr. has been in town. We also know that Melania and Barron are in town. They were spotted earlier this week uh, by one of our reporters, or a Palm Beach Daily News reporter, um, over at Mar-a-Lago. So we know the First Lady and Son Baron are already here. And let's see, we, uh, seems like we have an update. Hold on just a second here. I just got a report that he's still on the tarmac talking to some Okay, we just got an update. The President has landed. He's on the tarmac talking to supporters right now. We don't know how long he will be, but we're going to stay here until he uh, goes by. When he was here a few weeks ago for the Thanksgiving holiday, uh, he did stop and talk to supporters for quite a while. It was about a 20-minute visit he had with the uh, supporters on the tarmac at Palm Beach International Airport. Now, for this visit, the press is not allowed uh, near the tarmac. Normally, we are allowed to, to be over by the tarmac, and we're able to broadcast there and show you Air Force One. But for this visit, for some reason, we are, we are not. So we are here along the, the motorcade. Um, and I, he is uh, arriving today, uh, shortly after he signed the tax bill in Washington. He uh, signed the tax bill this morning at about 11:15, uh, and he was on Air Force One at about 11:40. It's about a two and a half hour flight from Washington, so we are expecting him uh, any time now after he visits with supporters on the tarmac.
make a donation, they might do that. Now, this is the president's ninth presidential visit to Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach. Mar-a-Lago is his, uh, it was his residence for many years, and now it is uh, a private club, which he still owns. Um, it is not a resort, as many people uh, believe. It is a private club. It has a few, uh, it does have a few rooms, probably about 10 rooms, which members are allowed to, uh, members are t allowed to rent out, but uh, members of the public cannot just show up at at Mar-a-Lago and rent a room. Ah, oh, the students that we have here supporting the president are, they're very happy and they're doing a little dance and song in anticipation of the president's arrival. The students have come up from Coral Gables, Florida, Coral Springs, Florida, I'm sorry, they are here to thank the president for commuting the sentence of Mr. Uh, Rabushkin, Shalom Rabushkin. Mr. Rabushkin, uh, he made national headlines about nine years ago after federal agents uh, raided his uh, meatpacking plant in Pottsville, Iowa. At that time, they detained nearly 400 undocumented immigrants, uh, including some children who were working there. Mr. Rabushkin was the company's chief executive and the plant was the largest kosher meatpacking operation in the country. He was later convicted of bank fraud in federal court and he was sentenced to 27 years in prison. His imprisonment has angered the Jewish community for many years and on Wednesday the president commuted Mr. Rabushkin's sentence. Now this was not a pardon. Mr. Rabushkin still has to make restitution. Rubashkin still has to make restitution and he has to uh, complete a term of supervised release. And the Jewish community around the country has been very grateful to uh, the president for commuting Mr. Rabushkin's Rubashkin, I'm sorry, I'm mispronouncing that. Mr. Rubashkin's a sentence. Thank you very much. And also celebrating the uh, President Trump's uh, decision recently on naming Jerusalem as the capital of Israel or moving the uh, the U.S. Embassy there. That has caused a lot of controversy uh, in the area among the Palestinian community and throughout the Middle East. And now this is the first time of the President's nine visits that we have seen uh, such a large group of Jewish supporters. I'd say we probably have uh, maybe at least two dozen, maybe three dozen supporters here uh, from the Jewish community who are here to support President Trump. Um, normally this side of the road or often this side of the road is occupied by the protesters so uh, today we have a lot of the president's supporters here from all over, Florida, from, different synagogues. From all over different synagogues uh, but uh, there was talk or that possibly Mr. Raboshkin may actually be here but he is not here um, there was talk also that perhaps the president might actually stop if he was here to uh, to see him, but we are not seeing that. We don't believe that's that's going to happen. We have other reporters lining the route, so we'll be able to provide you. Uh, if you go to mypalmbeachpost.com later today, we'll be able to give you uh, you know all the information about what's been going along, uh, what's happened along the route. Our veteran political reporter, George Bennett, is actually in the press pool. The Palm Beach Post is the only local media that is inside the press pool, which means that we travel with the reporters from the uh, larger news, national news organizations who come down to cover the president. And George has been providing you with Trump uh, coverage for quite a long time and he will have more updates later today. 
If you want to keep up to date with the, uh, the most current uh, news about the president in Palm Beach, you can follow us on our Facebook page, Trump in Palm Beach, where we provide you with all the most recent information about the president in Palm Beach. All right. We've got a lot of other people here. Let's, uh, excuse me, sir. Can I ask you a couple questions about why you're here today and uh, sure. what you're planning to do? Uh, sure. First, can you tell us your name and where you're from? Yeah, my name is Nathan Frank, Miami Beach, Florida. And I'm here to see the President of the United States. Uh, been supporting him all along. Happy that he was elected and extremely delighted and happy about his decisions and the things that he's doing. And um, of course, the uh, recent announcement about Jerusalem is an extremely important event for the world history, more to be understood in the future. People cannot appreciate it today as much as it will be appreciated in the future. And also on Wednesday of this week, uh, the president commuted the sentence of uh, Shalom Rabashkin. Yes, correct. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, how you feel about what, what's happened there? Well, I think that it's a wonderful situation. There were questions about the so-called evidence that was presented. And of course, the sentence was outrageous, 27 years. People get off for murder for a few years. And he did hardly anything that I understand wrong. I'm not familiar with the details of the case, but uh, I understand it was uh, uh, totally out of, out of uh, proportion. So. Now, have you um, been here for any of the other presidential motorcades, or is this your, your My first? first time. It's my is. first time, yes. And what was it the uh, the commutation of Mr. Rabashkin's sentence that brought you up here, or a combination of things, or it, what is it? It's been building up. Uh, I get uh, emails from uh, everybody, from Eric, just this morning, and I send in a few dollars every now and then. And of course, I have the presidential mugs, the inauguration mugs, and every day I drink my 12 glass of water in that beautiful tumbler that I got and such things and it's been building up and I haven't had a chance to do it. It's Friday, it's the weekend, so I drove up here. All right, now did you come with anyone else from the uh, Miami-Dade County area? No, no, just myself. It was last minute. It was supposed to be 11 o'clock, so I've been here since then. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you very much. All right, ma'am, I, uh, I see you're up here with the group. I was wondering maybe you could tell me your name and where you're My from? My name is Shirley Markowitz. I'm from West Palm Beach. And I'm very delighted that I voted for President Trump because his actions prove that he's a man of truth and he's courageous. He does what's right. And I believe God is behind everything. So all his opponents will not succeed because he's a man who does what's right. And it takes courage because he does what he thinks is right. And he doesn't care what anybody says. Okay, thank you very much. All right, I am going to uh, stroll up the road a little ways where we have some uh, Trump protesters and see what they have to say. We are still waiting along the motorcade here. The president has landed and he is speaking with supporters on the, uh, on the tarmac. He's actually signing stuff and kissing babies. He is actually kissing some babies on the tarmac and uh, signing some, uh, some items, um, hats and such. So we're hoping that it'll be, uh, it'll be soon that he passes by, but we will be here. And uh, today we are seeing mostly supporters of the president. In past, uh, we have seen many, many protesters. But today in this particular area of the motorcade, we are seeing uh, mostly Jewish supporters of the president. So uh, we're going to continue to cover the uh, motorcade uh, route here, and I'm going to be speaking to some more people uh, up the road as we wait for the president. You know, there would have been so many more people here. I kept changing my time, and it's
right, this is Christine Stapleton. I'm a writer with the Palm Beach Post, and I am here with videographer Thomas Cordy. We are covering the motorcade of President Donald Trump. He has landed. Air Force One has landed. He is on the tarmac right now with some supporters. He's actually kissing babies and signing some autographs. Reportedly. Reportedly, uh, we do have a reporter over there. Um, we will get more details on what's going on. The roads have been cleared now, and traffic has been stopped for probably a good 20 minutes. Um, and we are waiting with uh, many of his supporters along the motorcade. And How many times has he been here? The president has uh, made nine presidential visits. This is his ninth visit to Palm Beach since he was inaugurated. The uh, president did make two other trips to Palm Beach County after he was elected, but before he was inaugurated, he came down for uh, Thanksgiving in 2016 and for Christmas last year. His family, uh, most of his family was with him and the family uh, spends its holidays at Mar-a-Lago. They have done that for many years. And so this is not a, uh, something new that the president and his, and his family, the first family, have now started. They are continuing on with the family tradition of spending the holidays at Mar-a-Lago. We know that Melania and Barron flew in earlier this week. We, uh, one of our uh, Palm Beach Daily News reporters uh, saw them saw Barron over at um, Mar-a-Lago earlier this week and we also know that Donald Jr. is in town. He spoke earlier this week at the uh, summit of Turning Point USA which is a group of conservative students. Donald Jr. was also spotted working out at a local CrossFit gym so uh, we know that he's been in town and he probably uh, is waiting for his father as uh, most of the rest of the folks along uh, this route are. Uh, this morning, we saw the Trump private helicopter land at the new helipad at Mar-a-Lago. Uh, we don't know who got off that, but the helicopter landed about 10 a.m. and had been there, uh, as far as I know, it's still there. It's been there for uh, several hours now. And we are now waiting for the president, who is on the tarmac at Palm Beach International Airport meeting with his supporters. Many of the supporters we have uh, along the route today are Jewish. They are here to thank the president for commuting the sentence of Shalom Rabashkin, who has spent eight years in prison on charges of he was convicted of bank fraud and he was serving a 27-year sentence. The president commuted his sentence on Wednesday. Now, he did not pardon Mr. Raboshkin. He commuted the sentence, which means Mr. Raboshkin will have to make restitution and he will also have to do his uh, uh, supervised release. So, uh, But he is free. We're hearing that he is in New York with his family. And this is the first... Uh, of the uh, the holiday seasons he will have spent with his family in eight years. We are along the motorcade now waiting for the president to arrive on his ninth visit to Palm Beach County. Security as usual is tight. They have closed Southern Boulevard and at 4 a.m. this morning they closed uh, the roads near Mar-a-Lago over on the island. And it's also probably not a good weekend to do any paddle boarding and kayaking uh, on the intercoastal waterway near Mar-a-Lago. The Coast Guard uh, has armed pontoon boats that troll up and down the intercoastal day and night, stopping most of the pleasure boaters, and uh, they will stop you if you're on a paddle board or a kayak. Uh, he just got the limo all right, we're moments away from the president arriving or driving past. We just heard that he has gotten into his limousine and is headed this way. So we should be just a moment or two before we see the presidential motorcade come by. He's going to be in the Beast, which is different than if you want to talk about the Beast. He is going to be in the Beast, uh, which is one of the more secure vehicles in the motorcade. 
We don't have uh, any explanation on why he is taking this particular visit, this uh, vehicle this time. And we've also not uh, had any explanation on why the press is not being allowed near the tarmac. The pool reporters from the national media and the Palm Beach Post, a select group, were allowed on the uh, tarmac. But normally the press is allowed to get uh, near, guys, guys, close to the out. airport. Oh. And we were not allowed this time. Uh, we were not given an explanation, which is why we are here along the motorcade route. Oh, it looks like he's in the SUV now. All right. We're being told now that he is in one of the regular SUVs Sorry. that he's gotten. Uh, if he was in the Beast, he got out of it. Uh, but right now, we're told he's in one of the, uh, the three SUVs, the large black SUVs that carry the president. We don't know which one he will be in, although the last time he was in town, uh, folks along the route were able to see the president, and he waved to his supporters. It appears that he is... The motorcade is arriving, he is about to drive past. We have the first of the vehicles driving by. The motorcade seems to be going a little slower than it normally does. The folks along the uh, the road here are being told to get off the sidewalk. The uh, local law enforcement here is making sure that the uh, the roadways and the sidewalks are secure. If you're just joining us, we're moments away from the president uh, driving by with his motorcade on the way to Mar-a-Lago. Mar-a-Lago is approximately two miles from the airport. It's a very quick drive and it's a straight route. All the roads of course are shut down and at four o'clock this morning the roads near Mar-a-Lago on the island of Palm Beach were closed and they will remain closed for the duration of the president's visit. We believe the president will be in Palm Beach County until January 1st. That is what we have learned from the Federal Aviation Administration which issues alerts as to when Pilots need to stay out of the air around Palm Beach County. How's the weather? The weather here in Palm Beach County is beautiful. We have 80 degrees, and we uh, we don't know if the president's going to be playing golf today, but it certainly is a golf day. Uh, the golf course is about a mile from here and uh, there were some folks who were wondering if he might go right from Air Force One over to the golf course and try to get a, a few holes in. Um, but we're along the route here and it appears that he's going to be headed directly to Mar-a-Lago when he finishes uh, greeting his supporters at, the, at Palm Beach International Airport on the tarmac. You'll see many of the supporters today, and it's mostly supporters along the route today. We're not seeing many protesters at all. These are supporters from uh, synagogues around South Florida and uh, a Jewish school in Miami-Dade County. All right, it looks like it looks like we may uh, the motorcade may be heading by. Oh, we're still waiting here. But many of the supporters uh, have come from all over, from synagogues all over South Florida. All right, we've, uh, we've got one of the uh, motorcycles going by from the local law enforcement. Here comes another motorcycle. Uh, local law enforcement participates in, the, uh, in protecting the president. All right, this will be the fourth uh, motorcycle we have seen go by. They usually precede the motorcade. And we are now waiting for the motorcade itself. Very slow. Ah, it appears they may.
see if the president will be getting out and talking to any of Stop briefly. And the supporters that are here along the route are very excited uh, that the president gave them so much attention as he drove by. He slowed down quite a bit, gave a big smile and a big wave. We now have the rest of the motorcade, the, uh, the vans carrying the press, the press pool from the national media and the Palm Beach Post. We are the only local news source that does have permission to be with the national press pool. So we are able to follow the president throughout his entire visit. The rest of the motorcade is now going by. And this was a little bit different than most of the other uh, visits that we've had from the, the motorcades with the president. He actually slowed down considerably and up the road now we see that the motorcade is backed up, which is unusual. Usually the motorcade goes very, very quickly down Southern Boulevard and the roads are opened up very quickly. The local law enforcement has done a, a really good job. After nine visits, they have this down where they're able to open the roads up right away, keep the sidewalks clear. But right now, we have the motorcade is stopped, actually. We don't know what is going on. The president did slow down, and it looked like he was going to stop in front of a large group of Jewish supporters who came from synagogues throughout South Florida to thank the president for commuting the sentence of Shalom Rab Shalom Rabinsky, I'm sorry, Rabushkin on Wednesday. Mr. Rabushkin was serving a 27-year sentence for bank fraud. And we are we can see now that the motorcade has proceeded on to Mar-a-Lago and the Supporters and protesters are starting to disperse. We thank you very much for being with us this afternoon. And you can follow us on our Facebook page, Trump in Palm Beach, or go to mypalmbeachpost.com, where you will see the most up-to-date information on President Trump in Palm Beach. Thank you.